AutoCAD designers use XREFs for efficient collaboration, but my nano advanced techniques to enhance their workflow. So here are pro-level XREF hacks to take your drafting skills to the next level. Hi there, welcome to Lazy Architecto where we help you wasting time in AutoCAD. Starting from number five, so you want to attach your XREF quickly, but using the XREF palette to attach your XREF, it's a waste of time. So simply use the right mouse drag technique to quickly insert your XREF like so. XREF hack number four. So you want to turn off a layer in one of the two same XREFs in your drawing. But the layer that you turn off in one XREF will also turn off in the other extra. So use the renaming attach hack to turn off individual layers on your same XREF. So let me show you. The trick is to rename the XREF by simply double clicking on the name and I'm gonna rename it to one and that way when I attach the same XREF, I'm going to use the previous XREF hack that we just learned. And that way they are both the same XREF. So, but this trick now works because whenever you freeze or turn off a layer on one of your XREFs, you can see that it only do it for again for one of your drawings so in reality they are both the same drawing and to prove this uh, let me open it all right and do a quick test let's just draw a big x over here like that and i'm gonna save this with Control s and then when i go to my plan and reload my xref We're not creating a different drawing here. We're simply hacking AutoCAD to kind of freeze or turn off and on individual layers. XREF hack number three. You want to change your XREF layer color quickly, but using the layer palette to do that, it's a waste of time. So simply use the layer of hack with consist on turning off a layer. For instance, I want to change this wall color on this XREF so to quickly find, find your layer and quickly change its color. XREF hack number two. You want to avoid problems with your XREFs, but forgetting to place your XREF in the correct layer brings problems such as XREF disappearing when freezing layers. So this is a common problem. So use the XREF layer command To define layer for your XREFs, in this case I want to be the layer 0, to always have your XREFs camped in the correct layer. XREF hack number 1.
so you want to quickly update your xrefs but using the xref palette it's sometimes a waste of time so use the auto xref reload to reload or update all of your xrefs at once